，但我唔得波，我冇事噶。好，我今日系单身。耶！我一个我都未结婚噶啦。I thought trailers were supposed to make movies look good. Whatever. Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Patch McAdam, and this is my review of Lan Kwai Fong Three. This is the third and hopefully final installment in the Lan Kwai Fong series. Movies about young, rich, supposedly pretty people who apparently have no responsibilities whatsoever to themselves or anybody else. I'm not gonna bother with the synopsis of the movie because, frankly, the movie doesn't bother with one either. It's basically a string of party scenes interspersed with clumsy dialogue and even clumsier sex scenes. It's pretty funny when you can watch people kissing on screen and you can see that they're just really bad at it. And I don't mean like they're trying to be fake and it looks bad. I mean they're trying to be realistic and all it shows is that they're really bad kissers. There were four or five moments in the film that I did actually find entertaining. One of them opens the film. I. You know, looked up from turning on my audio recorder to be greeted by a 12-foot-high version of this. Holy shit! Do you blame me? If I'd have known it looked like that, I might have tried to grab it too. The other moments are, you know, the occasional verbal or visual joke that I did honestly find to be really funny. The rest of the movie, however, doesn't really make up for it. These movies aren't made for me. I'm obviously not the intended audience. But you know what? I kind of feel bad for whoever they are made for. They're the cheapest excuse for celebrating shallowness, consumption, irresponsibility, selfishness, and willful ignorance. They're awful movies that tell awful stories about awful people. They're so self-absorbed they deserve whatever happens to them.、Uh, not that they ever take or you know are made to take responsibility. But Gina Ho's ass is really something, isn't it? Now. I understand why an actress like Shiga Lin won't go topless in a movie. I don't like it, but I understand.、Uh, nobody goes visibly topless in Lan Kwai Fong Three, but the women do wear some remarkably revealing outfits, and I do mean remarkably. There's a lot to be said for being almost naked, and this movie has a lot to talk about. The problem is that when you can find women who are willing to bear themselves, either wholly or in part. They tend not to be so pretty from the neck up. Now Gina Ho is pretty. I mean her face. Unfortunately, not many of the other women in this movie really are. At least not to me. I mean they suffer from what Americans often call butterface. Nice body, butterface. The men are handsome, I guess, and you know obviously they can go topless in the movie without fear of recrimination. You know, unlike their female co-stars. So. If you want to watch a, a bevy of variably attractive young people drive around in luxury cars and drink expensive liquor and wear designer clothes and act as if they don't have a care in the world, well then watch Lan Kwai Fong Three. There's almost no other reason to watch it. Well, almost. If you want to watch this movie, go see it in the cinema because if you're a heterosexual man or a lesbian, Gina Ho's ass is like a vision when it's 15 feet high. But if you don't live here,、um, wait until you can rent the movie, or, or wait until it comes out on disc and buy it because that way you can loop certain parts of it and you know take advantage of yourself if that's your thing. But obviously, what I don't want you to do is download the movies because downloading stinks, and so please don't do that. Now, when this movie's released to home video, I will update the description so that you can buy a disc, a Blu-ray or a DVD. If you enjoyed this review, please leave me a comment. If you didn't enjoy the review, please. Leave me a comment anyway. If you enjoy these reviews in general, please subscribe. I find it very helpful because you know what? Right now, as I speak, it's 1:30 in the morning, and I gotta make sure this gets done so that I can put it up in less than 48 hours for you people. So don't say I don't do things for you. And if you subscribe, it just makes me feel like sitting here by myself at 1:30. It's kind of worth it. Thank you, and have a lovely, I don't know, rest of your day. I can't believe I've hugged that woman.